Hello students! Welcome back to our science video. For today's lesson, our topic is about generation, transmission, and distribution of electricity. At the end of this video, learners are expected to explain how electricity is generated, identify the different types of power plants, explain how electricity is transmitted from the power plants, and explain how electricity is distributed to your home. Electricity generation is the process of generating electric power from sources of primary energy. For utilities in the electric power industry, it is the stage prior to its delivery to end users for its storage. Electricity is not freely available in nature, so it must be produced. This diagram of coal power plant will tell us how generation of electricity takes place. Power plants use heat for water to boil. In the boiler, water is heated to produce high-pressure steam. Heat is then removed to lower the pressure in the condenser. Steam then moves from the high-pressure boiler to the low-pressure condenser. As water boils, it expands and it moves the turbine which in turn powers a generator to produce electrical energy. The pump feeds the water back into the boiler to begin the cycle again. Electricity is produced in plants capable of drawing electrical energy from primary energy sources. These primary energies may be renewable or non-renewable. Non-renewable sources are coal, natural gas, and oil. But what are the different types of renewable energy? These are thermoelectric power plants, geothermal power plants, solar power plants, hydroelectric power plants, wind farms, and nuclear power plants. Thermoelectric power plants. These burn non-renewable resources such as oil, coal, natural gas, and fossil fuels to produce the steam. Examples of coal power plants are the Calaca Power Plant in Calaca, Batangas, and Maribelas Power Plant in Maribelas, Bataan. Santa Rita Power Plant in Batangas City is natural gas powered, while Bawang Diesel Power Plant in Bawang La Union is diesel powered. However, Thermoelectric power plants pose serious environmental concerns. They emit many greenhouse gases and pollutants in the air that causes pollution. Geothermal power plants. These use energy from the depths of earth to produce electricity. Heat produced from the natural breakdown of uranium and other radioactive elements inside earth power turbines. Geothermal power plants do not pollute or produce harmful waste because they rely on a natural process. However, heat production is not always consistent. The Palinpinol Geothermal Power Plant in Valencia Negros Oriental is an example of a geothermal power plant. Solar Power Plants These use sunlight reflected by fields of large mirrors to concentrate to a tank of molten salt of produced steam. Those mirrors are made up of photovoltaic cells and are controlled by computers, so they can track the sun throughout the day. However, since sunlight is a variable energy source due to weather variables, heat production is not also consistent similar to geothermal power plants. The Calatagan Solar Power Plant in Calatagan and Balayan, Batangas and Cabanatuan Solar Power Plant are examples of solar-powered power plants. Hydroelectric Power Plants These use water pressure to turn turbine blades directly. The energy in falling water is used by water turbines to power the generator. Since these power plants are also powered by sun to drive the water cycle that fills the needed reservoirs, they are clean and inexpensive source of energy. Large amounts of land must be submerged under reservoir, which have ecological repercussions. The Agus power plants in Lanao del Sur and Lanao del Norte, as well as the Binga Dam in Itogon Benguet, 
are examples of hydroelectric power plants. Wind farms. Wind farms use airflow to move propeller blades, which in turn generates electricity. It is also powered by sun since wind is a result of the uneven heating of earth. The Pililia wind farm is an example of a wind-powered power plant. Nuclear power plant. The most controversial among all alternatives is the nuclear power plant. A nuclear power plant uses heat released from uranium, nuclear fission, to create steam. Although it does not emit pollutants and a small amount of fuel can produce a large amount of energy, uranium is not renewable. Electrical power transmission involves the bulk movement of electrical energy from a generating site such as power station or power plant, to an electrical substation where voltage is transformed and distributed to consumers or other substations. What happened during electricity transmission? During the electricity generation stage, high voltage of electricity is produced. Electricity is transmitted after. Electricity transmission links electricity generation and electricity consumption. Electrical energy produced in the generator is carried from the power plants to your homes through electrical lines called transmission lines. Transmission lines are constructed overhead electrical towers or underground. They carry electricity at high voltage from the power plant to a substation. At substations, voltage is reduced. Distribution companies such as Meralco bring electricity to your homes. Voltage coming from pole transformers or transformer boxes is lowered between 120 to 240 volts as electricity enters your home. In general, the distribution system is the electrical system between the substation fed by the transmission system and the consumer end. So how does the distribution of electricity take place? Step 1. Power plants generate electricity. Power plants generate electricity from different sources. In the Philippines, most of our power supply comes from coal power plants. Step 2. Transformers step up voltage for transmission. The current generated from power plants is sent through transformers to increase the voltage. A transformer that is designed to increase voltage is called a step-up transformer. Step 3. Transmission lines carry electricity long distances. Transmission is the movement of electricity from a generating site to a substation where it is distributed to households. Step 4. Neighborhood transformer steps down voltage. A step-down transformer lowers the voltage in distribution sites. The voltage is lowered in preparation for distribution to households. Distribution can be considered as the final stage of electricity delivery to the consumers. In the Philippines, the main power distributor is Meralco. Step 5. Distribution lines carry electricity to house. Electricity travels through smaller transmission lines called distribution lines towards your home. These electric lines conduct lower voltage of electricity. Step 6. Pole transformers step down electricity before it enters houses. Pole step down transformers further reduce the voltage before it enters your house. This is done to ensure that only 240 volts goes into your homes. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe for more science educational videos by clicking the notification bell.